What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we have a card show video. So I am on my way to Lexington, Kentucky. It is about 7 a.m. Show starts at 9 a.m. And I'm actually setting up at this one so I'm very excited about that. Looking to move a lot of stuff so I'll take you guys along and uh, you know hopefully the show goes well. But before that we have to uh, get some gas and then you guys already know we are headed to Chick-fil-A. So I'll stop in along the way and stay tuned guys. All right, thank you. All right, so we just made it to Lexington. It is about 8.20. Uh, the show, again, is supposed to start at 9, so hopefully I can head in and get set up uh, in about 15, 20 minutes, and we'll be good to go at 9 when it starts. Uh, I've never been here before to set up, so it took me a little while to uh, figure out the right spot, but I think we're good to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and head in, and yeah, I'll check in when I have everything set up, and we're ready to go. All right, guys, we got crews in the building. Hey. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Come up. You're from Tennessee, right? Yeah. Nice. So you came up last night? Yeah, Nashville. Awesome. Awesome, man. Well, good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> You good? Appreciate it, man. Good luck with them. Still got the select blasters? Not much. I, I sold the blue. Did you? I'm, I'm, I had dug out more. I'm down to like two or three. So I sold them out at 140. So they're, they're flying out. Gotcha. Did you say you you don't have any optic blasters? Or you? No, I do no, not. Okay. That's it. I've got those at 40. Gotcha. Don't have any blasters or hangers. I was thinking about doing a video comparing select optic and prism, but I can't find any uh, optic or prism anymore. Yeah, so. it's kind of quick. <clears throat> Well, the hang I was gonna say I, I haven't seen select hangers. I can say the prism hanger, but yeah, yeah, there's no select hangers. Optic hangers too. Yeah, that might. That, how much is the prism hanger? One hundred even. One hundred. Actually, I don't know if I opened any of these. I don't think I opened any of these. You know, like, like normal, they have the variation. Right. It's the black and white variation. Hmm, I might, I might think about that. We don't have any of those, but I think that's only. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a lot. I haven't, I haven't really got to look around at all. Y'all sold a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I've sold a ton, man. Yeah. Every, show, every show, you do right now, that's how it is. Yeah. It's any, awesome. Any state, any show, it's yeah. just this everywhere. Cause like when it comes to Brock, kind of all, yeah. but it just they all move so fast. Right. Cause every week I ain't do it, but yeah, I. It moves like crazy. I sold a crazy amount before I was even set up. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's how it is. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. All the shows are Yeah, it's awesome, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, looks like you got the hottest uh, show at the hottest table at the show. I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm just about to sell for you. <laughs> See, people are looking now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so just walked out of the show. It is about 1230. 
Uh, the show really started to die down around 11.30 or 12. So I did decide to go ahead and leave. And I'm really happy with how the show went. As a dealer, uh, I was very happy with what I was able to sell. Now, I did have, you know, cards were listed or priced at very, very low prices. Because like I said, I just wanted to get rid of a lot of stuff. And I was definitely able to do that. Honestly, I didn't get to record a ton. Because literally from the moment I got to my table until just now leaving, I had you know, multiple people at my table throughout the entire show. So, um, before I was even set up, I was able to sell four entire boxes. So, uh, you know, the moment I got to my table, it was just slammed the whole time. So unfortunately I didn't get to record as much as I would have liked. And so again, set up as a dealer, the show was amazing. Walking around as a buyer, I, you know, this, this show is not the best for buying prices are high and there's not really a lot of stuff that I'm interested in. Uh, there's not a lot of graded cards, not a lot of high end. Uh, it's a lot of, you know, lower end stuff. So if that's something that you're looking for, the Lexington show is definitely for you. Uh, but I did actually come to the show last month and I didn't, e didn't even put up a video because I did not buy a single thing. Same thing here. I was able to make some trades at my table, but walking around, I did not buy a single thing. So uh, I'll check back in when I do get home and show you guys everything that I was able to pick up in trades. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. I'll see you guys when I get home. All right guys, so as you can see, we have made it back home. Today is actually the following day from the show, so didn't have a chance to record this clip yesterday when I got home, so today is the next day. And we're gonna go over all the pickups that I did make at the show here in a second. Real quick, just wanna talk a little bit about the show. So unfortunately, like I said in the previous clip, I wasn't able to record as much as I would have liked. The table was just slammed the entire time I was there with people, so I didn't really have a chance to get the camera out and kind of record what was going on. Uh, you know, it would be great if eventually I could get someone to record the entire show. That way I don't have to worry about it, but I don't think I'm really there yet. So, uh, you know, kind of along the, the same lines from the previous clip, um, you know, setting up as a dealer, it was great. I was able to sell a lot of stuff. You know, I had kind of talked about the show for like a week or two. So people knew I was going, people knew I wanted to move a lot of stuff for pretty cheap. So, uh, you know, definitely worked. I was able to move a lot of stuff. On the other hand, as a buyer walking around, didn't see anything I liked. I was hoping there would be a lot more select retail there. Didn't really find any. And what was there was very, very highly priced. I actually was able to come home later that night in Louisville, get on Facebook Marketplace, and I was able to find some select retail for much, much cheaper in the area. So I will have a video coming soon of two Target blasters, and they were they were fire. They were really good. So be on the lookout for that one. That's coming soon. So wasn't able to pick up anything other than what people brought to the table, you know, to sell or trade. So we'll go we'll go ahead and get go over that um, real quick. And I do also want to say that I was selling these shirts at the Lexington show. I was able to sell a few. And what I didn't sell is actually on the website 502frank.com. If you are interested, uh, head over there. If you go onto the, uh, the the main tab and go down and select merch, there are multiple options there. So I do have this one, the gray one with the big logo. I have the black shirt with the Miami logo, and then I have the gray and the black with the smaller uh, logos on the left chest. So I do have some available. If you guys are interested, head over to 502frank.com. They are $25 shipped. And everyone at the show uh, you know, said they were very, very high quality. They're very soft, super comfortable. I absolutely love them. So you guys are definitely gonna be seeing a lot of these shirts on the channel. So now we'll go ahead and get to all of the pickups. And first off, I did pick up 500 Panini points. So I have been you know, looking for these for a decent price because I am trying to get ready for the select Cosmic Packs. If you guys have seen or paid attention to the select football checklist, the Cosmic Packs are coming. So I'm trying to get prepared. Would like to get two to three packs. I'm expecting those to be 200 or 2,500 points. So in order to get three packs, it's gonna be 7,500 points. So definitely have a long way to go. I think I'm about at like 3,000 right now. So definitely a long way to go, but was happy to pick up 500 points at the show. And then uh, I, I believe Cruz, uh, Cruz's card stop, I'll tag him. He was in the video, I'll tag him. Uh, but I believe he gave this to me as a gift, the Russ Smith Prism Rookie Card, so very, very cool. If you guys are not aware, he is my favorite player uh, that played at Louisville of all time, so love Russ Smith, so that was awesome. And then someone <clears throat> did give me a Jordan Wara base card as well, so I appreciate that. And then next up, this one was part of a trade. 
honestly, I don't remember what I traded. It was three raw cards that I had like kind of in the showcase box. Uh, so I, I traded uh, the three raw cards and then like $40 cash for the uh, Giannis silver. So I, I got $40 cash in the Giannis for the three raw cards. So this one will be, uh, you know, in a future fire pack. So I was able to pick that up. And then the other one for the future fire packs is the John Morant silver laser. Uh, you know, a guy came to the table, said he was looking to move some stuff. And he, he, I honestly didn't even check this. He said that recent comps were in like the 125 range, said uh, he would sell it for 100. And I said, sounds good to me, let's do it. PSA 10, John Morant, laser. I figured, you know, I'd do that for 100. Throw that in the next fire packs. So those two are the only two cards that I did get for future fire packs, which by the way, real quick, I am thinking about doing a Dallas only fire pack series of 100 packs at $125 per pack. Um, so I might do like a smaller one for the YouTube members and then do a really, really big massive one for like the Dallas only uh, <clears throat> fire pack series. So we'll see, if, we'll see if that actually happens. Uh, as of right now, I am planning on going to the Dallas show, uh, but you know, I've kind of talked about this. Uh, me and my wife are going through IVF, so that could change at any moment. Might not be able to go to the show, so we'll see what happens with that. And then next up, one that, uh, you know, probably most people out there wouldn't expect me to pick up. Honestly, I would have never guessed that I would have gone through the show and left with an Akeem Olajuwon uh, 1986 Fleer card. Uh, so someone came to my table and asked if I'd be interested in doing a trade. Now, honestly, I probably would not would not have bought this, uh, but he did ask if I was interested in a trade. And I do know that Hakeem Olajuwon has kind of been on the rise lately. Uh, you know, Charles Barkley, Olajuwon, uh, maybe like Clyde Drexler are probably like the two, three, four guys after Jordan in this set. So uh, I believe in a PSA 8, these are going for around like $450 to $500. And I said I would be willing to give up like $400 in trade. And he said he was all for it. So uh, I gave up two SGC 10s, I believe, and two BGS 9s that had just come back from my submission. So two of the BGS uh, 9.5s, sorry, excuse me, uh, were Zions. And then the SGC 10s, I believe one was the LeBron Shimmer. And one, I believe, was the Anthony Edwards Hoops Base. So I gave up four cards for the Akeem Olajuwon PSA 8. And honestly, those were cards that, you know, I wasn't super high on, uh, didn't really, you know, have any attachment. So I figured I'd give it a shot and pick up a, my first ever 1986 Flair card. So I was pumped about that. One that I definitely was not expecting to come home with. And then the last pickup, which was actually the first pickup at the show, shout out to uh, Lion underscore cards. He, uh, was in my most recent BGS submission that just came back. Only took a year, by the way, uh, but he was in that submission, so I gave him his cards at the show, and he had uh, two nine fives of this card and one nine. Asked me if I was interested in the nine, which, by the way, this one is only 0.5 away. Got an 8.5 on centering and then nine fives all around, so 0.5 away uh, from Jim. But uh, I said, yes, I would definitely be interested. I've really been looking for one of these cards for a while, the Topps Chrome LeBron. Second year, love this pose. Honestly, in my opinion, this is a better pose than the rookie LeBron where he's just doing the jump shot. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome card. So, you know, you guys know I'm not big on the BGS slabs, but I didn't really care in regards to this card. Definitely wanted to have this card. And he gave me an amazing, amazing deal. So again, shout out to Lion underscore cards. Uh, he gave me a deal for way, way under what this is, uh, you know, valued at. So really, really appreciate the deal. And that is going to do it for the pickups guys. So, uh, again, I apologize. Wasn't able to film nearly as much as I would have liked. Uh, so hopefully at future shows, I'll, I'll do a, be able to do a little bit better job of that. It's definitely harder when you set up. It's a lot easier when you just go there and walk around. Uh, but hopefully I'll, I'll definitely try to do a better job in the future. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon.